Hello guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Yaos Nifisachere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities and your official channel for agribusiness information on YouTube. Right. You have to know and remember that Ashko Aceda House Commodities is a mixed trading entity that we have taken our time over the past five, ten years study the maize markets in Ghana. Study and master the maize trading trends in Ghana, the maize value chain of Ghana. So if you need any information, if you have any inquiries about maize trading, about maize business, about supply of maize, we are the best people to speak with. Pick up our numbers, get in touch with us. Now, if you have decided to go into maize farming, 2024 or anytime you're watching this video this information is going to be very very useful to you okay now just like any other business it is very important that when you're going into this farming you go into it with a business mindset don't just go into it that because you have found that uh, you've heard of something and you just want to do it go into it with a business mindset. Oh. If you have the intention of going into it for recreational purposes, fine. Because I remember there was a time that I was doing tomato farming and it wasn't for the profit. It was just for rec recreational purposes. I just go into it and I see that I'm growing something and it is growing. I've planted something and it is growing. And it was so wonderful to me. Okay, it was my first farming venture. And I didn't do it for, for for profit. It was just for to see, to feel good about seeing something grow, seeing something that I've planted growing. If that is your your reason for doing this for me, then fine. But if you want to make profit, you want to be successful. I mean, financially, by going into maize farming, you need to take care of these seven things that I'm going to share with you. And I'm sure by the time that I finish with this video, you will have enough information to embark on your maize farming journey. Right. The first thing that I want to talk about is your land. The first thing that you need to consider is your land. Because this maize, you're going to plant it, you plant it on the land, right? So you need to take care of your land and your land preparation. Now, the land preparation, depending on where you, you had your, uh, your land from, there's a type of land that you don't need plow you don't need to plow it you only have to clear the land bend you know the weed if if possible and then start planting um when the when the planting time is is due but there is some part of ghana like some part of Bono east region and the north northern region if that's where you're if that's where you're going to um, do your farming then you need to consider plowing the land because of the quality of the land, all right? Now, all these things are things you should take care of, care of during your um, land preparation stage. Okay, you have to take care of these things and make sure that the, your land is set to go. Now, when the land is set to go, you've done your land preparation. The second thing you should take care of is the, the timing of your planting. When you want to plant, you want to time it very well and know that because most of us and, and most of the maize farmers in Ghana plant the, with the natural rains, right? We depend on the natural rains, you know, for our maize farm. Right? So we have time to know that in this community, this is when the, the, the rains begin. You don't want to plant because you're going to it's an investment right you don't you, you don't want to plant your seed and then realize that it's not raining and then it becomes a cost from the from start no you have to time your your, your the, the, the time you're going to plant your, your maize you have to time you have to be critical about it so that when you when you plant it at least within a week or two at least within a week or two so you can be assured that maybe within a week it, there will be there will be rains, right? So that um, you don't have a problem where you plant and your 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 seed goes bad begins from the start. So you have to time your planting. Now the second, the third thing to look at is the type of seed to choose, 
right once again let me remind you this is business don't just go for any seed there are a lot of seeds out there in the market research make your research ask people let them tell you people who have experience in maize, maize farming ask them the right seeds that does best for them okay and settle on one of them don't just use your imagination you think that okay this is um, this maize this is cheap maize this is expensive maize so it is good i mean we have we have that problem here in africa here in ghana that whatever is expensive is the best i'm sorry to tell you but that's not true there are things that are expensive but they, that they will not work for you all right so look at the community the type of soil you're using and ask the people who are working who are doing maize on that type of soil i always say that there are there's a lot of information in the community that you're going to that you're going to do your maize farm even much more than you can find from 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 the books because at the end of the day they have used they have worked on that soil for a very long time and they know the type of grains that dies well there and the category the brand of grain that does well there so do that research and make sure that you choose the best of grains you know so that you can get your high yield at the end of the day okay because i hear a lot of stories you know about this seed thing sometimes uh you hear stories like you can get 10 bucks of maize from this seed you can make 20, you can get 20 bucks you can get 30 bucks well do your research and choose the best that will suit you all right so after you've taken care of your seed um you also have to work with good spacing when you're planting please don't just plant anywhere like our grandfathers used to do don't do it like that plant properly need i remind you again this is business strictly so make sure you plant based on the recommended spacing okay use recommended spacing why do you should you use recommended spacing because it is going to allow free flow of air into your your maze to aid its growth it is going to allow free movement of your of of, of workers or laborers during the time of application of fertilizer during the time of application of weedicides or you know these processes when you have good spacing it allows you to maneuver yourself and maneuver um, this laborers through the the roles to be able to to do what to to work on them to work on your farm all right so spacing is also important make sure you get the best spacing right now we get to, we come to fertilization or application of fertilizer this is a very critical area okay whenever you want to apply fertilizers look for the best fertilizer out there once again don't look for the cheap fertilizer they are not every cheap fertilizer is good not every expensive fertilizer is good research to know which one works the best for the type of land that you are you know planting or you're farming on all right so fertilizer application is also important make sure you apply the the specific quantity or the recommended quantity of fertilizer that is that um is needed for that type of maize um grain right that um type of maize okay use the right fertilizer all right so after that we also look at um, a very critical area called weed control okay a lot of people want to ask so most of the times ask that uh, what is the best way to control your weed do you use weed decide do you use do you use to weed it manually well it's up to you if you want to use weed decide there are a lot of varieties out there you want to weed it manually well, that one too, you do your research, you get to know the price of it, uh, of the, the price of weeding manually. All right. And within all these um, deliberations, you have to keep in mind that this is business once again. All right. So you get 
your weed control because weed control is a good is, is, is a very critical part of maize farming okay because this is um this they, these are weeds that are going to compete with the maize with the nutrients in the soil so if you control the weed what it, what that means is that all the nutrients in the soil is going to be used by the maize alone okay and that also means you're going to be able to do what maximize your yield all right and when it comes to harvest which is the last thing i'll talk about here make sure you harvest at the right time if your farm if your maize farm is um, the major season or the you can every week, you know when to when to harvest Make sure you plant it early and harvest it so that you can harvest it early. Because if you harvest it early, then you can get a chance to plant the minor season again. So you can be you can be able to plant two times in a year. All right. So master your uh, your harvest season just as you master your planting season or the planting time. Master your harvest time also. It's also very 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 important. And after that, do your market research. Get your best pricing and sell and make your profits all right so this is the information I'm, i want to share with you about maize farming if you have any inquiry any um, question you want to ask put it in the comment section and you address it as such we want to see a lot of the youth of africa a lot a lot of the youth of ghana going into maize farming because it is profitable right i will recommend it because it is profit profitable i have i have practical information about it all right Thank you very much. Until we meet in the next one, remember 2024 and beyond is the years, year and years of agribusiness. Get yourself into agribusiness, feed the world and let the world feed you. Feed the world and let the world feed you. What do I mean? Get our, get a group with us out there, let the world feed on it and let the world also do what? Pay you, make money, feed yourself and your family. Until we meet in the next one, remember my name is Yao Asimpi Sechera. As always, this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Asila House Communities and the official, your official YouTube channel for agribusiness information in Ghana and in Africa. Until we meet in the next one, it's bye for now.